Hey everybody, it's Brian here from Co-op Critics, and I am going to be playing a little bit of golf tonight. Uh, I am playing Everybody's Golf, which you may also know as the Hot Shots Golf franchise on the PS4, and I am extremely excited about it. Uh, I actually created my character the other night, and have played a couple of quick rounds, but I am really just in the beginning of the game. But I absolutely adore this game already. I haven't even explored most of the stuff that you can do outside of playing golf matches. Um, as you can see, you can talk to NPCs and stuff like that. This is the home area, as this person just told us. Uh, you can go online. You can play against other people. You can explore the island. You can join tournaments, which is what we're going to do in a second. Um, and then every once in a while, a challenger will appear up here. And you can battle them one-on-one -on -one in uh, stroke play. So I am a humongous golf game fan. But my favorite kinds of golf games are the arcadey ones. And so the Hot Shots Golf Series is just fantastic for that. And we're just going to get right into it. So you can see, um, again, super colorful. Looks awesome. You can customize your character. I have not a ton of equipment and gear and stuff like that yet but you earn more um as you go along so let's see what we have here today we can play a nine hole tournament for 200 xp see you'll notice that there are modifiers basically so you're using regular tees the tornado thing means that it's easier to putt uh, it's very clear out, and the wind is not crazy. Um, in the beginning, I think they try to set up conditions for you to be able to do well, but I don't want to do the tornado thing because it makes putting too easy, so we're going to choose this one. And we are going to enter. Um, like, a perfect example, I don't even know how to do backspin yet. I haven't even tried to do backspin yet. But um, anyways, we're going to go to the course, we're going to get started. And what's cool is that while you're loading, they have the tips, which you can... Oh, you can see controls in the beginner's guide during a round, so keep an eye on it while you explore. Like, I should probably look at how to put spin on it. I'm assuming it's just like pushing up and down before you shoot. But what's cool is look at the bottom of the screen. You can practice your swing, and it's a three-click swing, which is very much sort of like in the arcade vein like that was a perfect one. Um, and you'll see the, how that affects your, your shots as we kind of go along. So the better shots that you hit, the more that you level up certain clubs. So you see we are, we are at Eagle City Golf Club. And we are playing uh, the front nine. We're going out. So... Hold one. It's a par four. This box is the tee box, so we can put our tee wherever we want to put it. And you'll see there's other people playing as well. They're just, um, you know, like NPCs. You can control where you're sort of lining up. You can see the wind is going right to left, about two miles an hour. Not going to be a huge uh, effect on what we're doing here. Now the... The um, spin, I'm not sh super sure how to do that. Um, switch modes, it says. Let's see if that does anything. But that just looks like a power shot. So we're not going to mess with that too much. Because again, I haven't really looked at the controls too much other than just knowing that I want to time my clicks right. So, uh, boom. Boom, not bad. Amazing. We're off the tee. We'll take it. Anytime we're on the fairway, that's good. Um, I also don't know how to do the whole flyby of the hole. So we can see down there that it's... Um, no, actually, I don't want to do that. It's up, so we're going to give it a little extra pepper. 
This club goes 120 yards. We have 114. We're going to go slightly above that. That was a little bit too much, and I didn't pure it. So. Oh, okay. Well, we did all right. We did okay there. Could make a birdie. We could. The screen is pretty straight. And it is flat. Hopefully. Boom. Alright. It's an auspicious start. As you can see, it's very, um... It's got a lot of whimsy to it. Which is one of the things I like. So we are currently tied for first place, or... I guess in second, technically, because you get points for different things that you do. Uh, set up the tee shot. Where are we going here? Tim is in the right side of the green. Um, I'm actually going to stay right in the middle for this one. And it's downhill, so we should be pretty good. That was a good shot. That was actually exactly where I wanted to uh, end up, although I'm on the slope, which is not great. Uh, okay, we have 84 yards. 84 yards this club goes. We have 62 remaining. So we're going to take a little off of it. And again, this is where I feel like... Um, this is where I feel like I... Should know. You know what? Let's look real quick. Let's look at the controls. Blah, 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 blah. Those are just the options. Huh. Alright, well, we're not going to spend too much time on that. Let's just hit a good shot here. So it's up 1.9. We're going to go a little bit left. Uh, that's pretty good. That should be pretty good. Awesome. Yep, we will take that. When you're not putting spin on it, my goal is always to just land it in front of the hole and let it feed to the hole. So, it's a pretty good break, but it's flat. If I hit it well, should be good. Okay. Currently at two under. No, this is a hole that we should birdie. And it's a dog right, so... I would try to cut that corner on the right, but then you end up in the sand trap. So we're gonna, you know what? Let's just set up right around here. That should be good. And I pretty much hit that perfect. I'm a big fan of the three click uh, system like they have here. There's a lot of a lot of golf games have different swing meters. Um, there's ones that go in sort of a C curve, like behind your body, and some of them are three clicks. Other ones use like analog sticks. Um, I am a fan of the old-fashioned click to start your swing, click for your distance, and then click again for your accuracy. That is my preferred method. Um, it looks like they're telling me that I'm not going to get down there. So this is going to be three shots to the green. I could take my driver here and really try to nail it, but then I could also end up... Well, actually, you know what? We're in first place, so let's gamble and try to blast this. Oops. I was a little late on that. Sit, 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 sit. Okay. 
That's good. We'll take it. 70 yards remaining. It's kind of a flat green. This club goes 84. Wind's taking it that way. Give it a little bit. Uh, okay. And it's uphill. That might be short. But as long as it's on the green, we should be good. Yeah, that's not terrible. Not terrible, but I should have gave it a little bit more. Could make a birdie. This is like the most downhill relaxing game. Breaks to the right. Uh, it is downhill. It does break to the right, but not super break. If I hit it clean. Um, you know what? Let's do it there. Get in. Okay, good. Let's keep it up. Lightning. Okay, we're three under. Hold a four. It's a par four. Well, that's not a long par four. So, and it's pretty straight. But the wind's going this way. Let's drop it there. And... Give it a ride. Great shot. Look at it go. Nice. The other thing too is it feels really good when you hit a good shot. Like not only do they congratulate you, but just the impact of it feels good. You'll notice that I'm not hitting the ball super far, and that's because when you start off, your your distance is kind of low, and then as you level up your character, you're going to hit clubs farther, basically. Alright, so we got a 3-wood, which is... There's 173 yards. What if I went driver? 204, back of the green. Hmm. My problem is the 3-wood's not going to carry that far. So I'm a little worried about... And the wind's going to knock it down a bit. I could go driver here. I think I'm going to go driver here. It's probably going to be too much. Uh, okay, so let's see. But I hit it pretty good. I might be in the sand trap. Jump over that! No. Oh! Okay, but you know what? It didn't plug. We're good. We're okay. We're going to be alright. That was... Not the smartest move I could have made. Uh, ten feet remaining. Sand wedge. It's breaking. It's uphill. Not bad. Get close. Good approach. Just relax. It's all right. You can do it. Relax. Get in there for par. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. We are three up, which is the only reason that I was playing a little fast and loose there. Par five. It's a par five. A par five. The problem is because my clubs are not leveled up a ton yet, there's not a lot of opportunity to get crazy. Like to try to go for the green and two and stuff because there's just no way I'll be able to reach it. So this is kind of the vanilla golf until you level up a little bit, but still super fun. Uh, okay, let's go there. And that was just me messing with the camera. Boom. Not bad. Amazing. Not bad. just stay out of trouble. As you can see though, this the game is super pretty. The water looks good, the fairways look good, trees blowing in the wind, the skybox is good, like it's not super realistic, but I kind of actually prefer like the cartoony look. See now here, this is a bit of a danger shot because we're going over the water. Um... 
Let's see. I don't know why I keep going to my one wood. You know what? Let's stick with the three wood. Let's just hit a crisp shot here. Let's play smart. Now get over that water. Okay, good. See? That was a good shot. I could have pulled out the driver. Probably would have done something stupid. 169 yards in. Three wood to the green. Going... To my left. Uh, let's give this one a ride. That's going to be short. I did not get all of that. And that is a bummer. Oh, wait. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Maybe I won't be short. That fed up very nicely. Could make a birdie. Uh, this... Uphill, maybe? A little bit. Uphill. I'm going to give that a little extra. Get in. Oh. It's all good. Okay. Good shot. Anytime you get a par on a par 5, that's really not going to cut it. It's a good thing that I'm in the lead because that should have been a birdie. It's a par four. And the worst part was I played conservatively. So you know what? For the rest of this match. I'm gonna take the riskier shot. Switch mode. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. That's what we're going to do for the rest of the match then. So that's the power shot. Okay. The problem is with the power shot, yeah, so good. You, if you miss hit it, it's exaggerated. You look strong already. Okay. But I don't know how to do the backspin yet. There's nothing in these controls that talk about backspin. If one right one, left two, right two. Oh, I can change the camera angle. Look at that. Um, okay, I'm on a little bit of a slope. And the wind is going that way, too. So we're going to move that over a little bit. 220 yards remaining. Can we get there? Can we get there in two? Well. We're going to find out. I don't think we can, because I didn't hit it enough. Oh, God. Get away from there. Get on that green. Nice. On and two. Birdie? Oh, it's a par four. It is breaking to the right, and it's flat, though. Um, I st Ooh, that's going to be bad. Oh, well, it's not. Look at that. Feels great up here. Hold seven. That it's one I got totally three. lucky on. Plus the cups are larger in this thing. Okay. Down two feet. 143 yards remaining. It's but it's two feet below and the wind's at my back. Uh Oh, I hit it too early. Damn it. Okay, well. Get there, get there, get there. Oh, are you kidding me? I thought I might not even hit the green on that one. That breaks left. 
I'm just going to stay outside the edge of the cup and let it break into the cup. Please work. Boom. Alright. So we're looking pretty good right now. It's par four. Hole eight. Par four. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna do a power shot. And we're gonna try to rip it. Oh, you know what? That's probably good right there. I'm not getting 100% though. I got great carry on that shot The Holy crap, that was awesome. Par 4. Okay, 147 yards. It's one foot below. Winds in my back. And that's to the pin, though. 139 to the pin. What if we just do this? No, I hit that. Amazing. Perfect. Let's see what happens. Oh. You look stronger already. Oh, thank you. For the birdie. Take it back. Get in there. A birdie. Woo! My bird. Wonderful. See, if you don't hit the button, they just run to the next tee together. Isn't that nice? <laughs> They're literally running. They're not taking golf cart. I like that. Last one. Hold nine. It's a par three. Okay, you guys all go ahead. Okay, we're gonna drop it right here. Uh, one forty-seven. Winds at my back. We're going to go directly at this pin. Come on, wind. Switch back to straight. Come on, come on. I'm just waiting for the wind direction to go back to neutral. It's only one mile an hour, so it's really almost non-existent. But come on, get back. Get, you're almost there. Okay, I'm switching it a little because of you now. <gasps> oh god, I didn't hit enough. That might be trouble. That might be water. No. See, I needed to hit that perfect, and I didn't. Okay. 20 feet away. And the lie is a little bit that way. Uh, it's uphill three feet, but I hit it perfect. Great save! Get up there. Approach. Just relax. Easy now. Relax. Get in. That's hard. Pretty good. Nice par. Nice par. Okay, so we did pretty good in that little match. Totally nailed it! Totally nailed it. See, it keeps like your 
all time like longest putt longest drive how many times you hit the ball perfectly um And then you raise your overall golf level, which then kind of puts you in a situation where you may have another sort of golfer to face off against. <laughs> That's what they're talking Next versus character. So I guess we have another character. Maybe next time, actually, nice. I'll do that... Um, I'll do the match against that particular character. So we have coins, we have accessories, so. Nice, yeah. And we have a new member of our gallery. It's sort of like you're following. Club skill bonus. Level up. Not bad. I gotta figure out how to do the backspin stuff though. I'll figure that out for next time for sure. Because we're doing pretty good without that stuff. Of course, it's going to get much tougher as we go on because these are the beginning tournaments. But I think you have a good idea. And that's a kid that I could face off against if I want to do sort of a one-on-one -on -one match. Um, but I think you have a good idea of sort of the basic gameplay. I will tell you that this game is... It doesn't matter if you've ever played golf before or if you've ever played a golf game before. Like, this game is super easy to pick up. And it's a ton of fun. And I am going to spend probably a thousand hours with this game. We're going to go in the shop just so you can see like what you can buy. It takes a minute to sort of like load in. So I can change my hairstyle. Um, I can buy new shirts. Ooh, I can buy a Hawaiian shirt. 500? That's super expensive. Buy some acid wash jeans. Probably going to get those at some point. Um, oh, those are nice heels. Different sneakers. So you can see that you could totally customize everything from your hairstyle to... Uh, all of your clothes, all of your shoes, that kind of stuff. Um, stuff comes in different colors. You can buy uh, Alter Approach Ball that enables the use of the 15-yard approach. I don't even know what that is, but I'll have to find out because I don't want to spend any of my money yet. So, um, Of course, there's microtransactions, so you could spend more. Uh, Turf War Warp Metal, metal that allows you to perform an additional warp. Don't even know what that is yet. Um, but I'm not going to buy anything right now. I just want you to sort of see Come back soon. what it is that you could do in the store anytime you want. So, I mean, that's probably a good place to wrap up this episode. So if you like this video, please click like and subscribe to our YouTube page. And I will absolutely be playing a ton more of Everybody's Golf in the very near future.